what is going on here guys chris on uh, son of beast here as we are about to be here at this museum for the wright brothers of the airplane stuff going on here at a monument it's going to be a really nice day out here a little bit overcast here already but um looks like the skies are looking very good how about you and i check out this museum and see what it's about All right, so here is where I start here. As you can see, there's a plane in the center that you're looking at. This is where it starts. As you can see, one of its movements out there in the front that you're looking at, in between, from front to back. I'll get to the back in just a second. It moves ups and downs. These are the flyings of the wings. And the side views are the only ones that you can definitely tell by that point. In the middle, I haven't even showed you anything about this. This is what definitely happens with a swing. This is what the damage has been done. It's very hard to deny the story in between. And then when you see the wings here, they're moved from side to side. They're like bird wings. It's very different than comparing it to this one. I expect there is a takeoff thing, and that's the real thing what you're looking at. That one over there, that is an 1899 airplane model. Right over there, that is a 1900 plane. Definitely really unique. This is a 1901 glider. A little bit similar to the 1900 glider. And that is a 1902 glider that you're looking at in between. Pretty unique, isn't it? Here is the comparison in between the front and the back of a glider. It is very that particular when you're looking at this model of the set. The more you think that is what this one looks about, the right one, but we are definitely imagining stuff that the glider was there back in from the past. No, it's not the future. This is what we were talking about in the centuries before. Even if you don't know how to fly this glider, it's definitely like a hang glide from the kite in the sky. And this one we talked about is the thrust. That's the real thing when you have to know what the thrust is about. That's the propeller that looks almost the same thing just like an airplane model, but it's different. And that is what the power should come in handy after taking a few attempts to finish it. Here's the story that starts at, at the home, in between from the parents and children starting their project and how it got started. Here are one of the brothers. That is one of the children's that you're looking at over here. That is in between Richland and Lauren. They were especially close, and that's what they look like. Their both last names are right. And that's what you know, it's in between those two. Here are the right Sphinx and who's who in the human race of a flight. And as a controller of the takeoff from its pilot to take over from its wings to control the plane instantly. Here are some of the problem solvings here. It's great for all the people who really wants to come up with an idea of this Kang glider of how it symbolizes and definitely make their own side of the glider to try to put things together 
and test it out to succeed their goals and taking their answers in between. It could be that, or it could be this one, but we may not know what will happen. And here are the years of this lineup. Keep learning things and some quotes. And that's the sewing machine that you're looking at down here. This is a little in between each opinions here. It's this one and butts. They've just gotten something else going on around here. When you turn this wheel, it will show you how this current condition could be. Hmm, I have never seen that one here before. In between. Food is scarce? Hmm, I have, don't even remember this one here. And that is what they have. Birds in flight. But the mosquitoes? <laughs> they attack them. Don't like it. And test your theories is how well you want to dream your reality. Definitely going to go with the bigger one and projects. Here's another timeline over here that seek advantages. Take courage wherever you need them. It's always yours. That is in between the shape of success. That's where it comes at. When you're looking at it, you'll see how the shape has turned into a huge successful by the group. Now here's what you're gonna see. Above you, here are planes above from here from the ceiling. Once you see them through by, in between tons and tons of aircraft models that are up in the sky and definitely flying by. There are tons of air vehicles flying above you, no matter how big or small it is. Well, in the sky, it's pretty small, but it's really that big when you see things on the ground. Space shuttle is very big. Here are some of the uh, details over here that you could take a look at. I'll pause the video, so feel free to take your time if you would like to read more. That is the success over here. I can always tell you that Wilbur and Orville had taken the total flights across from each angle, given a lots of test runs, and it's impossible becomes possible with the first flight. If you don't mind, that's what you believe in. Definitely no one has ever seen it before. When no one realizes, it might be a breakthrough in between bad to worst. This one keeps going here from transferring here for this aircraft and make doctors into believers right down there. That's what you could definitely tell here by the moment of time it comes back here. What are you ever going for? Also, it's returning to Kitty Hawk. Here's one of the most important person, Sally Ride. Definitely part of the space station of the shuttle. I also know that she's an astronaut and physics. Yep, she is really well. Also with the first flight shrine and honoring achievement. That's what thing you gotta know for. Definitely proving rights.
I wonder what is there here at those two houses. The first one, yeah, there's some stuff going on around here. Bunch of uh, kitchens and stuff here, beds and chairs. Oh, home away from home. That's different. This one is just like nothing. I thought this looks like a garage. Here are the commemorations over here that they have already been planted up here for the airplanes. This is how they have done it here in the past. As of today, it is still standing from its rock in the background. Now, I'm going to head you over to this flight deck courage of how many meters they have done on that side. All right, so here is what it should look like on here. As you can see, the end of a first flight, that's, um, that's where I've uh, heard about the pilot is. This is Oroville. It happened on December 17th. That's a distant 120. And 12 seconds is the first uh, end of the first flight. That's where it just starts from here from the time. The second flight over here, this one is, this one's Wilbur. He has finished across with about, about 12 seconds over here. That was nine, 175 feet. That's also on December 17th. And uh, it didn't work really well. That wasn't even that enough, fast enough to get the same time. Talk, you talk. Here's the third flight. That's about 15 seconds over here, 200. Again, they tried again for the second, but this is the end of a third flight. Orville, once more. Yeah, but I don't know if you can see it, but it's a long way down. I'm gonna be way walking down over there. From here to down over there. It's long. Well, that's interesting. Maybe they should add the, uh, the monument over here of ingenuity. I didn't even notice. And all the way down over there, that's uh, that's where you see the previous over there. I didn't see that. So after a long walk down there behind the monument, this is what the new record was being broken for the end of a fourth flight. And here's what it should look like. And here's the fourth. This big record over there, it was almost a minute here for this flight. That's another one for Wilbur. Now it was on December 17th, and it was uh, just about 852 feet. That's the biggest one that it went up from sky, down there, and then come back to the ground where it landed here. Over there, that should be added a monument over there. That's like, over there is like 117 feet. Wow, that is big. I can't tell because that is very, very big. I'm telling you this one, biggest can get. Nothing kills you off at this moment. Even my shirt, like surfing a, a biggest, biggest wave here caught in a moment. Like you're in the surfing, how much seconds you have already been surfing enough. Probably the same thing goes, doesn't matter. I forgot to mention, there is a runway down over there, but there aren't any uh, current planes on the runway, takeoff or, or landing. But that's, um, but that's where the, uh, definitely you used to have planes over here. Just not, not like an airport planes where you, uh, where the passengers uh, enter the plane and take off. But this is a runway, different planes. That's, um, that is a different look here that you're looking at right down there. After they have tested in this length of, of the length marker right down here. That is pretty big. All the way down there was was huge <sighs> try to take my time already try not try to get slow here without being over sweating unfortunately i don't want to stay i don't want to stay uh say uh running at this point and i in the cause of this one dehydration pretty cool to get the launch rail and a dolly from this plane and that's where it starts going to take a launch it's kind of like a train on a track but this one's a little different here. That's uh, this one's only one rail. Two rails are train tracks, not this one. But that's how they start. Getting to test this big one of the launch of the rail. 
All right, I am walking on a big path over here, about to show you the finale, looking over right down there from the mountain that you're looking at. Long way down to get there, but uh, we're gonna take our time to just um, to just walk up to the mountain over by the dune. That's, that is the top of the hill that I have not seen it before any, uh, in any of our mountains. This is like a, just a little bit of a hill of a mountain. I've never, I've never seen this one before. Popping it up once of each spot. I never just saw that one coming by. Long way down from here to museum down there. The one thing I didn't really notice this is a, there was sand underneath here. Little patches coming out. A little sand out in between. I didn't really see that one coming out here but by the time they were trying to plant grass. And I wasn't really expecting that we're gonna uh, put the sand. That was strenuous. No, not kidding at all. Even you can see sand here on the on a concrete path. There's tons of stuff over here in the sand. That is really weird. They always patch the uh, grasses up here on this mountain. This side. Yeah, I I don't believe this. That is a lot. There are some sands, but these are not a lot of uh, typical sands that you don't see. Every time when you come climbing up to the mountain, you might see some a little uh, sand. A little pop up eventually. And there's the hill where you can see. I'm gonna get a little closer so you guys can see what is going on here. Now here's a good shot over here. Close up. That is where you're looking at the Orville Wright Tower of this mountain. That is very big but it's very far when you're down from low here and then you come up from this hill here. That is the longest walk I have ever walked from here, from down by museum to the mountain up here. That was extremely long. Man, that gives me a kill by legs. Very a great view to get your pictures out here for the beach over there. Really big on that side. And we're off the hill. Not on the top anymore, but we're at the bottom right now. And then behind it is where we get this plane. I was also never figuring this one out. The photographer wants to get a great picture of it on the back of a plane. Really didn't see that one spot coming on. Especially the passengers on the uh, on the other side of it. The crew workers uh, cheered it on. I was not even considering this one to be an option. <laughs> I wasn't even going with that one Here's from this rail from down over here. And that's where you go right toward, toward, towards the rail from this catapult range to the plane. That's where you see the stories up here. If you decide to try this machine, you will hospitally have fun some people. I was never expecting to see this one pop up by. Here's the plane over there. Just tested it out from the flight. And now it's up in the air. Now, now it's over the weight is over. Flying very high, testing it out. All right, so we are here at the dock here at North Carolina, right above the top and right along the boardwalk, you can definitely see some little jet skis over there on the right. Definitely looking at those. Never really have seen these before back um, back in the early day here and from New Jersey on the Burnigan Bay. I was never uh, taking a look over here for so long. Really uh, very nice to take a, take a workout here on this boardwalk. Looks pretty good, honestly. 
pretty uh pretty epic already right next to this town water tower it's definitely uh look at but it's a great spot over here to take pictures of from this from this bay over there from the beach or definitely from there might be a great spot over here as well like that one but it's a very very long way to get over there yep to my shirt guess what i bought I am bringing things over. I have this wave of Outer Banks of North Carolina on the back of a uh, shirt. And right over here at the store, I have never checked this out before. And there are tons of stuff going on over here. And above them are kites. Wow. Yep. That's why we want to come in and cool down like we never did before. <laughs> You'll never know what happens. All right, so here's the place I'm gonna try this one out. I'm gonna try the donuts on the stick. I never got a chance to like go for go for a, re a review for having a donuts. It's like a little special treat, but uh, hopefully or not, you'll see uh, how I how I feel when I eat one. I already eat tons of ice cream here last couple days, but this time I'm about to do a little treat here to give that one a go. So you'll find out. It might be, might be just, just right, or definitely go with different choice. Looks like they have started boiling here for the donuts. Yep, that's where I'm about to try to patch it in there and get ready for the customers. Now they're getting ready to patch the flavors up in between each donuts. And I just chose to go for the donut ice cream sandwich. Yeah, I'm kind of like trying this one out here, but you never know when it comes out. It's very that tough. Wow, those chef workers are working very hard making the donuts. That's why I still like them the most. You never go, never go wrong with that. A lot of people are like coming in here getting ready to order something either with the donuts and ice cream or just ice cream I, I don't know i don't have nothing else to say but there's some flavors over here tasty all right guys so i'm gonna do this one here this is my little uh, flavor right here now i'm gonna give that one a try and see how this one goes um have i tried this before uh, absolutely not but you, you probably will, uh, you probably will see uh, how much I like this one or not. But um, that's just the case in between, in between likes or not likes. But um, just gonna give this one a try, see how this one tastes. So here it goes. The one thing about this one, it, it looks like an ice cream sandwich here. That's that's one. But I think this one is a little. It's crazy. I love this one so much. I'm definitely telling me this one here, donut ice cream equals a donut ice cream sandwich. Wow, that was fantastic. Love it. Here's a one more good, uh, good angle over here from the other side. It's pretty nice. Great view. Because I know how he is. We would definitely have the bay. If it was me, I would be uh, really liking this one place. All right, guys, that's going to conclude here for the second day here of the Outer Bank of North Carolina. Also, a great, uh, great place to be seeing the Wright Brothers Museum here of the airplane model and also the duck boardwalk here around from the upper outer banks of the of the carolina was uh was pretty good so far a little um little, little tan and sunburn i'm so i'm i'm really sorry to everyone i accept my apologies but um but it's definitely uh very nice out so far in between a little overcast i thought it was going to be like raining for sure but uh we're definitely doing very good so far keeping an eyes on the prize like this uh like this is my shirt I've already had bought in here. Uh, the last time I had a video here of the Serpent Spoon. And I already did try the donuts on a stick. Yep, 
It's definitely all, all good so far. Looking very good. Definitely okay, but um, not going to try to like keep it up going in each time from here and there. So with that, thank you all for watching for this video. If you like this video so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, you can check out my other videos as well here. Check out the previous video of day one here of Arrived at the Carolina, North Carolina, I should call that for. And then that point, there will be uh, tons of more stuff here going on here before we head back to our hometown of the state. So with that one, thank you all for watching. I always appreciate you and peace out to everyone. For a while as the the Wright Brothers Museum and of course the Boardwalk Dial of the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And this is Chris the Beast from Son of Beast. I'd like to thank you, thank you for joining us. Thanks for supporting me. And as always, until next time here. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.